Uh, good morning, YouTube. Uh, good morning, YouTube family. This is Eli, Eli, or whatever way you want to say it. It's, it amounts to the same thing as me from the uh, LEPI. And uh, I wanted to uh, make a video this morning. I've taken an attitude about YouTube, and that is that uh, a lot of what happens on here is so ridiculous that you can only, you know, try not to laugh too hard about it. But, you know, I saw two things this morning, three things actually that fascinated me. Everybody has been saying that Dima Wango's relationship with J.E. is a fraud and everything. Well, they've gone their own ways, and I... I will say no more about that. I do not have a very high opinion of people who despise themselves and other black people and prefer to be with with whites, you know, or Orientals or whatever. If you love who you love, that's your business. If you're doing it because, you know, you have prejudices, you know, I have no respect for that. But anyway, I thought that that was comical and a farce. After those people embarrassed the living daylights out of those so-called Afro Thailandese embarrassed the living daylights out of her by just staring at her and not talking to her, she's decided to flee Thailand and flee J E and left them behind. I thought that that was really fascinating. The other thing that really, really has, has me laughing is that Uncle Mo was given a, a he-goat by Davy Jr. along with some other presents. And he was so happy about... <laughs> he, was, he was so happy about getting the the goat that he picked it up. And I, you cannot ma I cannot make this thing up. I kid you not. He picked it up. And came very close to planting a big worm kiss <laughs> on the goat's genitals. I mean, it was weird. I mean, you cannot. I, at this point, have come to the conclusion that Uncle Mo is either the, brilliant, the biggest comedian around or he should sit down and have a long, have a long talk with someone. <laughs> the poor goat just was in his arms struggling like, sir, you don't know me well enough. At least buy me dinner <laughs> before you proceed to kissing me down there. But, uh, you know, it's like, it's so good. Uh, I, I was making fun of the way that the house looks previously. The house is looking clean. The house is looking nice. Uh, I, I'm beginning to think that, uh, you know, I, uh, there's a part of me that feels a lot of compassion for Uncle Mo all of a sudden. I saw a video in which he said something to the effect of uh, the nightmare is about to end. I won't be sleeping in a dark house anymore. And that made me feel a lot of sympathy for him. You know, Uncle Mo can be kind of strange, but hey, at the end of the day, I really don't see him as a scammer. He's following the lead of everybody around him, and he's fundamentally a decent man. And I give Davey credit for something. He's basically just trying to look out for his uncle. You know, so I, you have to respect that kind of loyalty. I also saw a, a story about how Mara visited his grandfather. The grandfather is interested in finding himself another another wife, and that Maura might help him to do it. Oh, man. I, you know, there's so many levels of hypocrisy to that story. Where was he when repairs were being made to his grandfather's house? But anyway, uh, folks, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I need every single subscriber that I can get. You know, I have, oh, I want to make a very nice announcement. I now have 26, <laughs> 26 subscribers, and I love and respect each and every one of them, and I'm grateful to have them, but I want to have more. So please like and subscribe. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day. Uh, what is it that they say when you uh, they're leaving in, in Kenya? Kwaheri.
Have an excellent day. Bye-bye.